Hello and welcome to The Gaggle, where we challenge and, if necessary, destroy media narratives. I'm George Samueli, and with me, of course, is um, co-founder of The Gaggle, Peter Lavelle, who's also host of Artie's talk show, Crossdoor. Um, the word of the hour is the Great Reset. Now, this phrase is a baffling one, and many people don't know what exactly it means. Um, at the moment, it uh, refers to the title of a book recently published by somebody with the name of Klaus Schwab. Now, who is Klaus Schwab, you immediately ask, because I've never heard of him and no one's ever heard of him. So who is he? Klaus Schwab is the founder of the World Economic Forum. And then you say, well, what's the World Economic Forum? Well, the World Economic Forum was founded in 1971 by Klaus Schwab. And it was supposed to be uh, a gathering of all sorts of um, important people. Uh, by important, it means uh, people not like you and me. Um, and so they've been holding these annual meetings at Davos. And this probably people have heard of this, Davos, um, for about, and, and takes place every year, about 3,000 people uh, show up, uh, billionaires, titans of industry, important media moguls, celebrities, so long as you are you know, famous enough, and hold the right woke views about uh, climate change, uh, Green uh, New Deal, um, and so on. Then you get invited. Now, why, why are we talking about the Great Reset? Well, it, it, it appears that a number of very important people see COVID as an opportunity to transform our, all of our societies, to move us away from uh, uh, fossil-based fuels, uh, to move us away from a traditional uh, work, line of uh, work with small businesses, cash economy, and so on. And suddenly we're gonna have a new um, type of uh, world order. Now, the problem with this is that, you know, no one's really voted for this. <laughs> That's and Yes, <laughs> and, and, you know, and say, so why are we suddenly getting this massive transformation in our lives? Uh, and particularly as you try to justify it by reference to COVID, which is still essentially a, a nasty form of the flu from which 99% of its, uh, those who are afflicted with it survive. So what is going on here, Peter? Well, it's it's a, it, they, this ideology is found a vehicle, it, it, they found a cudgel, and it's COVID. All right, um, just as you pointed out, and it's the most important thing to to reflect upon is that this is a, a means to go around the the um, the will of the people because these kinds of people have no patience for democracy. They, they just don't. I mean, it's primitive. It's a primitive form of representation because they know the truth, okay? I mean, the, 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 the Great Reset, also you might have heard it is um, build back better, okay? And we have such luminaries as Joe Biden, Boris Johnson, the British Prime Minister. Even Prince Charles has called this a golden opportunity. Um, now, George and I are not professing to some kind of um, uh, conspiracy. However, um, if you look at the pretensions of, uh, of many people in power, that they find uh, the democratic will to be a hindrance. I mean, if we could just get the people to get along, go along with us, okay, because they, they know the truth, because their ideology dictates that there is no other truth. It's very much like a cult or a religion here. And so um, this is... Um, um, the, the, what they try to talk about is this kind of new uh, humanism, a, a transhumanism that um, with, a, a, with technology and, and uh, adjusting the economy. And of course, they say, do you help the people most in need here? But no, it, this is, it, it, it's not giving power necessarily to governments, which this kind of power would be very dangerous in the hands of governments, but no, it's going into the hands of private individuals, okay? So you have these people, these titans uh, of, of, of big tech in Silicon Valley, um, where they have their vision of the future, okay? And, and, and it, it, it's a future that is, can be designed I mean, all you have to do is go back and read some of the tracks, uh, the tracks of uh, of Lenin during the uh, the Bolshevik Revolution. Okay, how to create the new man, and 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 the new man was 
something very much part of, of communist ideology in the late 20th century. So this is just a revamped version of it in many ways here. And, and for, for some, it is you know to replace capitalism. I'm very wary of that. I mean, a lot of these people a, that may be um, uh, flirting with that rhetorically, the, the, the way capitalism has worked for them, which is not even capitalism, it's, it's a gross form of corporatism where they have the governments in their pocket um, uh, they, it's got, gotten them uh, fabulously, unbelievably rich. And uh, they like the way it's going because the great reset or uh, build back better, it's just a transfer of wealth upwards as usual. Yes, it is. Um, now, when we look at what's really happening here, remember when COVID arrived uh, and government started imposing these draconian uh, restrictions, they justify, the governments justified what they did by say, saying that, well, hospitals are going to be overburdened. And flatten the curve. We, flatten the curve. Yeah, exactly. Flatten the curve. Hospitals are going to be overburdened. Uh, and therefore, this will be a temporary lockdown. Temporary. And once, once we've um, uh, flattened the curve, hospitals have now uh, uh, will have um, been able to deal with this uh, sudden growth of patients. Then the lockdowns will come to an end. Well, of course, that massive um, uh, burst of cases didn't materialize. Hospitals were able to cope pretty well. And now, even though there's been a slight spike in uh, COVID cases, not coincidentally happening at a time of the start of the flu season. What would you expect? Yeah, at the start of the flu season, people get flu. So uh, now, the even more draconian uh, restrictions are being imposed. Now here in uh, Hungary and in many parts of Europe, now it is mandated that if you go out of the house, you have to wear a mask. Um, no real scientific evidence uh, exists that uh, uh, masks do very much uh, exactly. to retard the, the transmission of the virus. It's contradictory. I mean, you pick your doctor, pick your expert, and they'll tell you they're exactly, exactly. Um, but now, and then, but you know, in the United States, we have um, mayors and governors who are ordering uh, people, um, uh, you know, telling them how many people they may uh, invite to their homes for Thanksgiving, how many people they can uh, have at their houses at the same time. It would have been unthinkable a year ago that pu the public would tolerate governments telling them how many people they can have in their homes. So that's why it is very odd what really is uh, going on here. And why this uh, sudden people are taking an interest in uh, what Klaus Schwab, this obscure person, uh, is saying, and what people like Monsieur Macron and um, uh, Trudeau, Trudeau yes, uh, are saying, because they seem very enthusiastic about this. They said suddenly they've got this opening. Uh, during the time of the, uh, the, the climate change uh, aggravation, they couldn't get the public behind it. People weren't buying the whole um, uh, anxiety over, uh, over climate change. But now they've managed to get the public scared. And that's why this is an opportunity for a, a, a massive uh, transformation of the economy. And we're already seeing the outlines of what, what this is about. Um, most retail businesses will be just wiped out. I mean, they, they can't go on. Restaurants are just closing down. There's, there's no way they can go on uh, on this basis. Small stores, the mom and pop stores, small businesses are just going to be wiped out. Hair salons and so on will be wiped out. Even the use of uh, money on a daily basis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Cash economy will be wiped out. Um, so who's going to do well? Well, the online retailers, <laughs> Amazon. Uh, one of who's already, you know, the owner is the, one of the, the wealthiest man in the world. They're going to do well. The banks are going to do well. All financial transactions will be done through the banks. Um, uh, and, you know, also personal services. So since the, you're not going to have any hair salons and nail salons in existence anymore, the rich people will be able to afford having uh, hairdressers come to their homes. If you're not rich, well, see what. What's the interesting thing here is that you have a lot of these ideologues that are have a crit critique of capitalism, which having a critique of capitalism today is a good a good thing to do. Okay, but they're doing it in the service of power. Okay, and 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 so what what we'll have is here is that it, we'll have open borders 
and then the gig economy. So you'll have extremely low wages, okay? Because, you know, I don't want to slight anyone. I mean, if you come from Central or South America, you can drive a car, okay? That's not, you know, revolutionary, but, but so can a middle-class worker can drive a car, okay? So, I mean, what, what it really, it would, again, one of my mantras is the protection of the middle class in every way. And this is a, a, a gross assault on it because it decimates it, okay? As I've said in, uh, at this venue before, this, this idea of the Great Reset, the, the Green Revolution, this is a return to some form of modern day uh, serfdom. And, 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 and it's intentional, okay? And, and, and what it is is that you, you wipe out the, those pesky people that keep this, saying no all the time. You know, and let, let's be clear here. Um, the, 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 the Green New Deal, well, if, if you go into the minutia of it, it has a lot, doesn't have a whole lot to do with the, with the environment. See, this is a cover for, to re, um, uh, uh, redesign the economy without the public's consent. And, 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 and I'm concerned with the environment. I mean, remember Earth Day, George, when we, you and I were growing up, okay? Plant trees and don't litter. I still think those are two really good ideas here. But th th this is cloaked in something very in, uh, invidious in many ways for me, and I think it's very it, it, it can be pernicious. Um, and so the COVID has oh, had this created this opening of an unbelievable magnitude for these people because this is the way they can get it through the back door. Um, because they are the professional managerial class and they know better than the rest of us, you know, rubes and, and deplorables and all of that. They truly believe that. Right, no, that, that, that's right. And so what will really happen is a most fantastic um, inequality of wealth yes. and goods. Because if you close down local gyms, what's gonna happen? Well, most people won't be able to do, do any uh, proper exercise. The rich people will, however, be able to build a uh, an indoor right. gym and have a personal trainer that would come comes over several times a week. Uh, you're not rich and you can't afford to have your own gym in your home. You're out of luck. Um, and 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 it's the same the same goes with uh, restaurants. We've already seen the uh, the hypocrisy of uh, Governor Gavin Newsom of California. Um, <laughs> laying down strictures about um, eating out while he goes to the most expensive restaurant in California to have a dinner with 12 lobbyists. Um, and apparently, you know, much, much as with um, Nancy Pelosi, who went to a, a beauty salon which, when no one else is, was able to go and didn't bother to wear a mask, you can see that you have an, an elite that essentially, you know, it wants more and more restrictions but doesn't want these restrictions to apply to them. And it's the same thing with the Green New Deal. Private planes for me, uh, forget about travel for you. But think about pre-revolutionary France. Remember, you know, the, the great salons where people would go in to talk, you know, about new ideas, about a new society and all of that. Um, and, and, and that all ended up in an guillotine. But I mean, it, it, what you just said with Newsom is very interesting. And it, it has an echo from the past is that these salons were private places, often in private homes, these huge mansions where people were invited and they were all members of the elite. I mean, you, you just couldn't walk off the street and just go to the salon and have a, have a beer, okay? No, I mean, I, people misunderstand what that is. It's very elitist, it's very exclusive. And, 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 and that's a form of, of going out, of being in public. And of course they drank and they ate and all of that because they were um, um, uh, providing um, hospitality. Um, it's, uh, it's only like in the middle uh, of the, uh, of the uh, 19th century that you really have co real concepts of going out to eat, okay? I mean, it's a, you know, people misunderstand, this is a relatively new idea, okay? And, and I'm really glad you brought up like these, these fitness clubs. Thank goodness there are people that are interested in keeping their health together because particularly in the United States where healthcare is a very, very expensive, if you, 
if you take care of yourself, you can avoid some catastrophic uh, outcomes here. So you, now you're just saying you'd have to do pull-ups in your own um, uh, closet now, okay? I mean, it, 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 there are, it hits every single realm. I mean, even the quality of the food that you can have, okay? All kinds of things here. And so they're doing it in the name of being green. But um, sure, if you live in the... Um, uh, um, uh, the Hamptons, where it's nice and green, it'll be a, a, a preserve, a reserve that will be very well protected, okay? Well, they, you'll have your food brought in by a drone and actually drones will be protecting your security, all of these things, because you're green. It, this, is the, this is the great fraud that is being perpetrated on people. I am for protecting the environment. I do believe that climate is changing and you have to prepare for those changes. That's fine, okay? But you know, remaking all of society, remaking the person, because you can't say man anymore, that th these are th these are revolutionary ideas that always end in tragedy, always, because you have to have the consent of people that uh, well, they that's, do. Well, that's the thing. And I think that um, a, any populist movement um, that, that arise, would arise today I think is going to have to address this issue. It has to address these uh, lockdowns and these massive uh, transformations of societies and economies that have never been uh, voted or, uh, or approved of. Now, uh, it's true, Biden has apparently, quote, one, unquote, an election, and he seems to be all for listening to the, quote, uh, experts, unquote. However, uh, I think when people find out what exactly uh, they had voted for, they are, I mean, it, we, we're already seeing, you know, how people are responding to the idea that the government is telling them how many people they can invite over for Thanksgiving. Oh, five, that's enough. So forget about granny. You know, she's not, <laughs> she's, she can't come. It's uh, better than crazy Uncle Billy isn't going to be there. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. So I, I think this could be a, a very useful um tool for getting a populist movement off the ground. We don't want a redistribution of wealth upwards. We don't want, you know, essentially our businesses closing down. I mean, when you think of a, the restaurant business, how tough it is. I mean, it, you know, particularly in big cities, you know, it is such a competitive uh, market. And then you have, you know, month and month after lockdown, of course, they're all going to be wiped out. And, and then people say, yeah, but you lot, you, you know, Gavin Newsom, um, he can have a, a dinner party in his house, and as you say, send, send the food in by drones, he can hire a catering service, and then it's just like a, a, a good old-fashioned dinner party. All the, all the food is all laid out for him. Um, so I think that this, this could be the movement for the, that we need. You know, that enough of all this. We do not want uh, this transformation of, of a society that, uh, that, that you, see, you want and that we have never voted for. Yeah, and, 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 and I'm glad you're talking about a populist movement because well, I think you and I are thinking in terms of a populist movement um, leaning right, of course. And, 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 and people like ourselves have to be prepared to talk about the environment because I'm not one of these denialists, okay? There, there, there are things going on here, but you know, unfortunately climate change is a business, okay? And people have made a lot of money off of it, okay? And it, a lot of it has to do with scaremongering. I mean, if you, if you go back to Al Gore, remember, well, the uncomfortable truths or something like that was his book. I mean, oh uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, um, and all of his projections, all of them, were wildly wrong. Okay, right. I'm not. I'm not saying things aren't changing, and I'm not saying things aren't changing for the worse. Okay, I mean, if you have um, r rising and lowering uh, um, um, sea levels, I mean, if you're on the coast and you're poor, you're going to get wiped out. Okay, I, I you know. I've been to the Maldives, one of my favorite places in the world. I mean, they are ter terrified of rising seas. Okay, I get that. Okay, but to use that as a as a fulcrum to change everything, um, you know, I mean, it, it's it's kind of like you know, um, you, you, let's say it's circa 1950, and we we have to for animal 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 rights to protect dogs, we have to redo the economy. Okay, we have to redo how we. You know, I used to use the term to reimagine, and I liked using it now. Now I hate that term because I hate the way people are using it, okay? Because what the, the, this reimagining everything is, is a, for me, imagining a dystopia. But it's a dystopia if you're not on the winning side. And 
Let's go all the way back to Davos. They're on the winning side. These well, this, people, yeah, yeah. and this is a way to maintain their status quo. It won't be revolutionary for them. It's going to be revolutionary for the rest of us. Well, that's the thing. And if you remember um, what was going on just before uh, COVID, um, there was a powerful populist movement uh, taking hold in France, uh, the Yellow Vest movement. Now, the Yellow Vest movement um, arose as a result of Monsieur Macron's uh, decision uh, to hit uh, ordinary people who were, you know, basically needed trucks to get goods from one place to another. They needed cars uh, to get to their workplace and back home. And that's what he did. He, he hit that. And the people who were protesting, they said, well, that's all very well for people like Macron and all his chums. They can fly around with their private planes and what and how much damage to the environment takes place as a result of that. Whereas I can't drive my car to work. Uh, and I can't you know, take, take my lettuce uh, to the market on my truck. And so that's, that's the point. I mean, that, that who are you hitting? You are hitting ordinary people um, who, need, who need cars, who need trucks. They can't, they can't work otherwise. They, they need their lo little businesses. That, that's what they live on. And particularly since they told the, the uh, working and lower middle classes to tur turn over, change over to diesel. Remember that? And then they say, no, diesel is not good for the environment. And they just say, but all of our cars run in diesel. You told us to do that. Right, right. Okay. It, it, it's extraordinary because, again, one of the mantras of the gaggle here is that the elites have these ideas, but in all of their ideas, they never touch them, okay? It only touches everyone else. You know, like, you know, we, we're going to, damn right, I'm going to take those guns, okay? Well, fine, you have private security, okay? Yeah. I mean, it's the hypocrisy of it all, of it all okay? So, and, and then, of course, this, the, 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 this whole issue of, of the mask, I mean, from Chris Cuomo all the way to Nancy Pelosi to all the uh, what's her what's that lunatic's name in Chicago Lighthead is there Light, Lighthead is right no light foot but Lighthead is better okay. I, well, I was close and uh, you know she, she's not wearing my, oh and when there's a bill a, a Black Lives Matter uh, protest no mask it's okay and Tifa don't worry about it okay yes yes yeah no exactly um, and 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 the same the same the same thing was was going on with uh, Biden who uh, screams, you know, you know, hair on fire, oh my God, COVID, 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 COVID. Oh, but meanwhile, let's um, get, let everyone in going across the border. Hey, isn't there a health hazard? Shouldn't you be watching as to who's coming over? I mean, if you're so worried about COVID, it uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have unrestricted immigration. One of the, one of the interesting things, that's if, if, if and when Biden is inaugurated in January, and we've already heard about people talking in his orbit about uh, lockdowns. George, that's the only thing they can, they can do. That's the only thing they can do different than Trump. That's why they never talked about it because you know, for all of Trump's flaws, I think at the end of the day, he handled it probably as well as anybody else would have. Uh, in oh, that, I agree. I, I think I, more yeah. or less. I mean, more or less. I mean, you know, who, you can't second guess people. I mean, it, it was something sure. new. I mean, well, you know, I mean, it's, it's silly to say, oh, well, if I'd been there, I would have been different. I mean, I may, I, I'm willing to give a, 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 an inch on maybe the empathy issue, but that empathy is not policy, okay? So he, this is the, the dark foreboding, the dark winter that Joe talked about during the second debate is that um, the, the, the only card he can play is a lockdown. Yeah. And the, the, that is, that's a pretty scary um, thought to contemplate because you have massive quarantine fatigue right now. And I'm glad you uh, mentioned it and it has to be mentioned all the time in every one of our podcasts. And what about the mom and pop stores and, and the little restaurants and the, all these small retailers just absolutely devastated like a tsunami that just came in from the beach and went all the way to the hills and pulled back and left everything barren. Okay. And then we have all of this unemployment. See, But see, that's one of the tricks they're going to play is that I am for infrastructure, but they're gonna, they're gonna tweak it so it's the infrastructure to create their vision, okay? And it is gonna have nothing to do with the, the needs and interests of people. It's gonna be towards their ideological end. Mark my words, that's how it's gonna work. No, I think that, that that's exactly right. And uh, it's, uh, it, it's clear that, that given the people um, that uh, he, he's um, uh, hiring, uh, you know, likely to hire uh, for his administration, given his uh, very cozy uh, relationship with the um, 
internet giants who naturally will take it upon themselves to censor any uh, criticism of these draconian measures. I mean, it, it will soon be impossible to post anything uh, on Twitter and Facebook uh, uh, disparaging lockdowns. I mean, you say, you know, lockdowns don't do anything, you're gone. Uh, masks don't do anything, that's, I mean, you're gone. Um, so, you know, you can see why these, there's already this nice cozy nexus uh, formed between the coming uh, Biden team the internet giants who will be doing the censoring and who will be the beneficiaries of all of the lockdowns. Because if you can't go to work, you know, what are you going to do? You're, gonna, you're basically going to be on the internet. You're going to do all business will be done on the internet. Of course, the internet giants love this. Uh, again, you know, they're the beneficiaries, not the, uh, <laughs> the mom and pop stores who provide um, meals and services around uh, on the street corner. They're, they're gone. Um, but Zuckerberg, uh, and um, uh, Bezos, I mean, you know, that, that stock is riding sky high. You know, the, 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 the pathetic thing of all of this is, is that when you have those uh, uh, sectors of the economy wiped out, and as you point out correctly, you'll uh, have to do uh, your interactions, your work through the internet, and, and the internet will be a place where they'll be watching every single thing you say. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we, you know, no more talk at the office cooler. That those days are gone. Right. <laughs> no, no, that's right. Uh, because now, yes, people are listening in, um, taking notes, and the punishment is very swift. You know, you're kicked off Twitter and you're kicked off Facebook. You say you don't exist, and they know the, how powerful uh, that punishment is. And this, and they, they quite explicit about it. And um, the, the, one, the man we talked about uh, yesterday, our old friend Barack Hussein Obama, has just given uh, a, a long, long, everything with him is long, long uh, interview oh, with yeah. Jeffrey Goldberg of The Atlantic, in which he's happily saying that, yeah, it's time for the internet to crack down on all the bad people. And, uh, you know, and that's what's going to happen. And a bad person is the one who's, who's, who will be disparaging lockdowns and mask wearing and, and all the rest of what the, um, the reset merchant uh, want imposed on us. Yeah. And, and, and this is a, it, it, the, the, the amazing thing is this is a positive vision that some people have. It's extraordinary, isn't it? It, 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 it shows me the weakness of this ideology and of these individuals because they can't take debate. They can't take a, uh, a sit down one on one and, and hash things out. That's the way we've done, we've done things for centuries, you know, and with pretty good results, I would say. Um, and now that is going to be gone. Yeah. I mean, I suppose the only thing it, it's, it sounds like it's going to, you know, the in the Soviet Union, um, and I've lived here in Russia for, for 22 years, but um, uh, my friends that remember the Soviet Union told me everything was the only thing, the only place you could talk was in your kitchen. And that was, was all, it was called kitchen talk. Right. And, and what was in, what was talked about in the kitchen stayed in the kitchen. Okay. Right. Well, that, yeah, well, that's not going to go because you can't have more than they'll say, you can't have more than two people in the kitchen at the same time. And, you know, uh, particularly if one of them is a cat or a dog. Uh, so, uh, and, and therefore they'll, you know, they'll, they'll also say, uh, the next thing is if you hear something said in somebody's home, do please report it to us. So, uh, you can see, how, and this is already happening in, in the UK, you can hear that how, you know, a snitch culture is also in the works. Uh, yeah, you, you heard your mother saying something uh, about lockdowns. Um, yes, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, G G George Orwell wrote 1984 as a warning. Unfortunately, people are using it as a user's manual. Okay, that's what we got. Okay, on the, on the flip side here, not everyone's going to take this easy, George. Okay, no, I, there's going to be a lot of people are going to push back really hard because now it's ex ex it's existential as far as they're concerned. I mean, we, we didn't even mention not being allowed to uh, practice your faith in your in your. Um, um, uh, right. No, that, that's exactly exactly. It, 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 absolutely amazing how um, we, for people have so far tolerated a massive um, uh, intrusion. Into, into their lives. And I think as uh, Tucker Carlson mentioned the other day, saying something like, well, 
after all the screams of, uh, you know, you let the, I don't want the government's hands on my body. Um, but you're okay with the government actually <laughs> ordering how you organize your house, who comes, who doesn't, uh, how many people you can have around your table. That's okay. Um, but people have apparently tolerated it. So how long? I don't know. I mean, let's hope they won't go on tolerating it for much longer. Are we going to tolerate them being in our mind? Right. Yeah. That, 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 that's the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. I mean, go back to Mr. Klaus Schwab. Schwab. I mean, he talked about such things. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, technology, uh, technology can uh, essentially we can uh, know what you're th have actually uh, um, have a, a pre -med -med uh, what is it have pre knowledge of, of cr criminal intent. Okay, this is one of the things they want to uh, um, work towards here. Yeah. Um, it, it, for these people, um, in, in they're cloistered. Um, they're protected. Um, they're amazingly arrogant, and I would give them a, 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 I would give them points for being clever, but I don't think they're particularly smart. Okay, because there's got a lot of people going to say, "No, I had a lifestyle, and it suited me, and I made my own decisions, and I'm not going to give that up easily." Particularly in the United States, because of the Second Amendment. Okay, you don't don't push these people too hard. Okay, you can take their Facebook away from them. Fine. Okay. But they can protect themselves as necessary. We got a little glimmer of it, George, during the summer. Okay, right. Right. because if the police aren't going to be there to protect you, you have right to protect yourself. No, I think that's right. And, and um, generally, most um, habits uh, <clears throat> start in the United States and then they spread to the world. So I can easily envisage that uh, discontent uh, among the public, which manifests itself in, in serious protest, will start in the United States and then they'll spread in Europe. Because at the moment, Europeans have just simply accepted all of these mandates uh, like sheep. Um, but uh, we'll see um, you know, whether that continues. Uh, but I, I do think that where, where it will originate, the, the serious protest against this uh, blatant hypocrisy, uh, will originate will be in the United States and then it'll spread. Anyway, let's hope. Well, and, 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 and also, you know, Joe, you know, I, I'm work with me because I'm a nice guy. I mean, uh, that, that's a, could it cut uh, uh, cut no. very well with uh, with uh, tens uh, seventy million people and seventy million plus here. Um, yeah. Biden, if if and when he's inaugurated, he's going to face the same problems that Trump faced with the governors. Okay, but now it's going to be flip. Right, right, yeah, but it can't very well, like, except that they're they're sort of on the on the same page because the people who are around Biden um, are are the Davos people. They they want these. Yeah, I mean, they're, not, they're not they're not going to say, hey, you know, we might lose votes, so let's uh, let's go against that. I I just don't think that's not really the way well, they apply it. I'm thinking more like Governor DeSantos in in Florida. He's just going to say, I'm not going to oh, do yeah, it. Yeah, no, he that he's different. I'm not going to yeah. do it. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm thinking of people like uh, Gavin Newsom or Andrew oh, Cuomo yeah. and Jay Inslee and, and, and all the rest of them and whoever the governor of Illinois is. I, yeah, well, you say, what they're going to do, they'll have this big summit. Um, maybe all the blue states will show up. Maybe some of the red ones will just blow it off. And, you know, they'll all arrive in their private jets. Uh, they'll all be wearing masks and gloves. And then they'll go to a party with no gloves and no mask. And, the, and you know, you know party, yeah, exactly. party on. Okay. Party on, exactly. And, that, and that's the thing. I mean, it's like, you know, the, the public already is pretty aware that the moment the cameras are off, Yes, I think. Oh, masks off. Okay. Um, you know, where, you know, where, where's that uh, champagne coolie uh, you were talking about? Yeah. So uh, absolutely, the hypocrisy is so is 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 blatant. I mean, the fact that <clears throat> we we know about this with um, Gavin Newsom, somebody reported it. It's not like Gavin Newsom, uh, you know, just uh, disclosed this. He didn't volunteer this information. Somebody was there to report this. Just same with Nancy Pelosi. We just happened to find out. Because uh, the the woman who owned the the salon, you know, sent the the footage of Nancy Pelosi. So, you know, it's, it's, that that's that's the only way we we know about yeah. this uh, hypocrisy. There must be a lot of other in times when there's no one there to spy on them. There's no one there to say, hey, look, look at the hypocrisy. So, yeah, this this is what happens the moment yeah, the cameras are off. This this kind of hypocrisy is, is significantly different. I mean, let's go back to the um, uh, Clinton and the Monica Lewinsky thing. I mean, what he did was dumb, stupid. He was an ass. Okay, and but you know, you know, condemning his entire presidency because of that, most people would say, you know, infidelity. It happens here. But go to 2020, you know, into 2021, 
now it's just existential for people. I can't live my life. You know, I mean, I don't care if the president of the United States is screwing somebody in the Oval Office. It's disgusting, right. but it doesn't change our, my faith. But right. this does, okay? Right, and, no, and I think that they, they, that's, it's an important um, uh, point because, I mean, there was, of course, the hypocrisy in the case of Clinton because he was all for, you know, hey, sexual harassment, uh, you know, we can't have people, you know, people in higher uh, positions, uh, you know, helping themselves to their employees. So he was all down for that, except he didn't think they applied to him. But it wasn't the main theme of his administration. With Biden, this is it. This is, this is all you ran on. COVID. I mean, you didn't run on anything else. So therefore, if there is any hypocrisy here, then yeah, that, that, that goes to the heart of who you are and what your administration is supposed to be about. And, and the same goes with Gavin Newsom and, and, and the rest of them. Yeah, this, this isn't just the one other issue that you're uh, addressing. This is the big issue, the core issue you're, you're supposed to be addressing. Yeah, and, and, and it's destroying people's lives. I mean, I'm willing to accept it is a, a, a health emergency, though, as you've pointed out, it's, it's the elderly and, and people with uh, pre, yeah, um, pre-existing pre conditions. Pre -conditions. Yeah. And, and, and that, that's the greatest risk group, okay? I mean, and, and I, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned the flu season. Uh, I live in a cold country. It's winter now, okay? But the flu season is here. And the best thing to do is not to congregate inside. You should be outside where you're safe. Exactly. And... What, you know what is what is healthy when you're outside breathe fresh air i mean it's, it, when you have a mask you're just breathing in your own germs and breathing in carbon dioxide which which is not good for you so it's like you're not doing anything for your own health uh which is the whole point of it's going out one of the, the things that angers me so much and I, I remember when all of this started in the beginning of the year the first quarter of the year and even then, all of these conflicting signals, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. And, and then this expert, and you know, like, this is like, you know, one of the world's greatest experts on, on viruses. And then, well, this person is also, and they say different things. I mean, what, do, what, what, what does a person like me, I, I studied history, I'm, I, don't, I don't know these things, okay? I mean, for, and it was politicized. And, and that's what really, really angers me. And I think it angers a lot of people too, because I think, you know, what we've seen in Europe, what we've seen in, in North America, if, if you make a compelling case, you know, like, you know, like, you know, we flatten the curve. Okay, let's do it. Let's flatten the curve. Okay. But when you keep moving the goalposts, that's when people are saying, huh? Huh? You told me that, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to have to lose my job because of, of a lockdown. But I mean, aren't you going to help me through the, this? You know, I mean, you told me. I can't go to work. See, th this is, and, and, and if old Joe there is going to do the whole thing, I think people are going to say, well, I did everything you said, everything. Right, right. But also, I mean, there is a problem about, you know, listening to the experts. I mean, in the first place, uh, there isn't just one expert. You know, you can find an expert uh, who will say um, uh, about the, the masks uh, that they're effective, and you'll find an expert, you know, just as many credentials uh, as the first one who will say masks, do nothing uh, to retard the transmission of the uh, virus. And that has always been the medical consensus. <laughs> it's always been the medical that masks do nothing to, to stop the transmission of viruses. So it's, it's very odd that you have this, uh, the new consensus. But also, I mean, to say as a president-elect, if, if that's what you want to call him, the president-elect, well, I'm going to listen to the experts. Why? I mean, the reason you ran for office is that you're going to be making the decisions. To say, well, I'm going to listen to the experts. I'll let the experts make the decision. Well, then, then you shouldn't be president. You know, then, you know if, that, Trump, if that's your attitude. Trump listened to the experts as well. Yeah, no, that's right. But you, but he also have to make it. Well, and he, he, yeah, but he also at least pretended that he's a a, a president who has been elected as a leader. Who say, well, I'm not going to listen to Fauci because you know other people are telling me something different. I don't treat Fauci as a god. Well, that's kind of what you you expect from. Of uh, an, an elected officials, which is okay. I'll listen to the experts. I, I'll listen to the generals. I'll listen to the intelligence people, and then I will make my decision as somebody who has been entrusted with making decisions. But the idea of saying, "Well, I'm just going to listen to the experts and do what the experts tell me," well, then that's it. Go go to hell and enjoy your um, I don't know whatever whatever it is that you enjoy your your hot cocoa and your Netflix movies. You can hang out at Camp David. Okay. Right. Yes. <laughs> well. This right. great reset here. I think that you know we have to keep a, a close eye on it. For for some people, it's a conspiracy theory. For other people, it is just a 
and again, we use the example of the uh, the Green New Deal as a cloak, as a, a stratagem um, to to redesign the economy and, and lifestyles uh, to in the way that they think that is is better for humankind. And you and I have decided very definitively here. It's only well, it's good for them. Uh, that's for sure. That's, that's, that's exactly right. And so. Um... You know, you know, we have to think about um, you know the, the people who actually you know live in the society rather than uh, the 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 billionaires and the the experts and the the titans of uh, industry who uh, arrogate to themselves uh, the right to reorder the lives of uh, you know, the fellow members of their societies. All right, anyway, um, so thank you very much, Peter. And um, we will, of course, continue with our um, laser-like focus on uh, all issues, not only presidential. Uh, so, but remember, if you like the gaggle, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye.